What's up, Internet? We are here with another delightful Sega Saturn Day. Uh, missed out last week because of a bunch of technical issues, including the fact my satiator did not want to boot. And I've been power cycling this for like an hour to do this. Uh, seriously, I'm, I'm hoping they put out an update that makes it a little bit more um, compatible. <laughs> Although, it might just be that I need a new Saturn, I'm not sure. Uh, either way, this is Willy Wombat. This is a game I've wanted to play for a very, very long time, and apparently it's entirely in English, at least in terms of dialogue and stuff, um, which is pretty cool. I'm not sure how much of, like, like the actual video we can watch, because the satiator likes to freak out around that, but... Doorway to the Garden of Freedom. Eden shall show its way. Okay, so I assume we're looking for gems for Eden. Okay, we got a conceit. It's produced by Hudson. Tease music. But not ice tease music. That would be a different tone for the game entirely. I think we've been running back and forth against the same ledge, just running opposite directions every cut there. <laughs> That's a good theme song. I think I'm supposed to continue, but I just want to rock out to that. That was good. You did a good thing, Tease Music. Alright. So, I guess we're stuck on the stage. We don't have a chance to select. Some promo art from the looks of it. And now it's sort of an isometric platformer. I think we can rotate the stage. Yeah. Rock and roll. Okay, so we got a slash. Oh, I got a boomerang. Cool. Okay, jump. Can I interact with the rocks in any way? Okay, so it looks like the X, Y, and Z buttons aren't doing anything. It's just the A, B, Cs. That's okay. I'm guessing those rocks are just, uh, things. Eh. Don't get a... There we go. Okay, so don't need a double jump necessarily. It's just the hit detection's a little bit spotty. That's fine. Ooh, glowy things. Eh. Okay, so we're running into, like, the problem of isometricness right now, which is, of course, that, uh, judging depth is always a challenge with this sort of thing. The rotating camera helps a little bit, but there we go. We've got power life. I'm guessing what that does is it fills your health bar. Okay. It's interesting because this is one of the sort of more sought-after Saturn imports that hasn't gone super expensive yet. I, I think it's it's getting there, but it's not quite there. So if I want a copy, I'm going to have to act sooner rather than later. But Oh, I kind of like that explosion effect. That's kind of cool. Oh, and you get little skulls. Can we interact with those? No, I can't. But they mark where our enemies die. Which is a good uh, way to know where you've been. It's it's classic Doom logic, you know? You know you've gone backwards when you see a pile of dead bodies. I like that. I'm still not sure what these gems actually do. But I mean, they're things to collect, so we'll collect them. I feel like that, that orb is like right where I am, but it's closer to the camera. Again, it's the, the trick of isometric perspective. And I'm guessing this wouldn't have shown up until uh, we picked that up. Thus signifying it being a tutorial. I will say the, the depth, in terms of like uh, the Z axis of up and down, which I guess would be the Y axis, Z would be depth, as opposed to just height, but it, it's... A little awkward to tell what the, uh... Is that supposed to be, like, a trampoline? 
Nope, just, uh, just descends for some reason. Okay. It's a little hard to tell, like, what the up and down positions are relative to, like, the back and forward because of it. It's catching me off guard a little bit. <laughs> Excuse me. Boomerang has some interesting physics if you knock it against something. It still comes back to you, but it sort of modifies its position. Also, it turns into a wireframe, which I'm guessing indicates it no longer has, like, a hurt box to it. So you can only use it as a weapon one way. I'm curious. Yeah. Okay, so it doesn't seem to have a hitbox on the way back, at least judging by that visual flare. Okay, so it's a button. And then if my theory's right, if I collect this last power life orb thing, that should heal me. I think. Okay, so it's right there, but... I don't think we have the height to get that jump. Can I jump over here? Or perhaps... Ah! Okay. Nope, that did not heal me. That did, though. Okay, so batteries heal you. Noted. Oh, we missed it, but we got bonus nuclear things. That's a cool bit of uh, background, probably production stills. Who's there? Ah, uh, you should state your own name before asking another's. Have I been? <laughs> That's the Lloyd Irving school of asking people their names. should state your own name before asking another's. Ah, excuse me. <laughs> my name is Jabba. Just an old man down on his luck. I don't believe that for a second. You're the final boss, aren't you? Busy looking for the miracle gems? Who are you? How do you know about them? Would you like I gotta say, the voice acting is pretty good, all things considered, especially when this came out. And considering this is a Japanese exclusive. Sounds too good to be true. There must be a catch. <laughs> it is true, but it's up to you to trust me or not. You have the freedom to make your own choice. Freedom? Yeah, freedom. I'm not stupid enough to believe in a total stranger, but I do believe in freedom. Then it's decided. <laughs> do as you please, but don't get the idea that I trust you. <laughs> At least let me know who you are. <laughs> I'm Willy Wombat. <laughs> Willy, keep an eye out for the tokens, the hexagon metals. They'll come in handy sometime. So grab the nuclear things. Got it. Okay. I gotta admit, I'm kind of impressed by the the voice acting, all things considered. Also, really cool backgrounds. Okay, so... I'm guessing we can't do anything with this until we get a key. Okay, so stepping on the button gives you a map. That's... Could that not have been relegated to, like, something on the controller? That seems a lot more handy. I do kind of like that it highlights where you've been, though. That's kind of nice. Oh! Okay. Let's not do that again. Fortunately, it's not instant death. Lava is not animated, though. I'm gonna have to take off every point ever for not having animated lava. Oh, I got a second boomerang now. Rock and roll. <laughs> I'm liking this game so far. Not really seeing too much to get upset about. It's just, again, the inherent awkwardness of... 
isometrics more than anything. Grab that. I feel like these are gonna come alive if I don't do something about them. <laughs> it's it's the uh, what are they? Armos from Dodingo's Cavern. Okay, clearly I need to jump down there, but I want to see what's up here. Oh, it's just a shortcut. Okay. What's down here, then? I was actually going to do something different for Saturn Day today, and last week. Uh, but that was something that kept freezing the satiator, so that's... That makes two games that absolutely will not start on this thing that I've discovered. I gotta say, the boomerang feels really quite good. I wonder if there's more power-ups for it. Like, I, I'm i sure there's probably, like, the ability to throw more out there, but... Like, can we get bigger boomerangs, or, or like, boomerangs with giant blades, like in uh, Kirby 64? Can we go all power blade in this game? Oh man, I haven't thought about power playing forever. That game was awesome. I had a great soundtrack too. I need to use the soundtrack from Power Blade in something at some point. It's too good not to use. I think we're playing on the easiest difficulty. I think that's what like the three different willies were. It was either that or it was asking for save slots. So this this game might actually be harder than <laughs> what we're currently playing, but I'm not sure. I can only infer so much from my experiences of menuing Japanese games. Alright. You know, the visual style of this, like, the, the combination of sort of like the downward perspective, because it's an isometric game, combined with the fact that we're kind of running through like these sort of somewhat linear mazes. Makes me really kind of think of Pikmin a little bit. Oh, I've got the key now. Let's let's use that. Right on. Is there anything else we need to grab? I think this is the exit. Woo! How'd we do this time? Right on! We got three nuclear things. That's some really good art. Oh, now we can pick where we go. I'm guessing S is like special stage and you need these tokens to select it. script come visit me why do this for me what are you after <laughs> you young are so untrusting i just like you and want to help <laughs> well there is a small fee what the tokens ah uh, the nuclear symbols are for saving i out for them as i told you is that all that's all Okay. All right. I'll need three tokens. Three. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we clearly save. only recorded one line, and we're gonna, you know, save. throw it in there, whether or not it sounds totally accurate or not. You're in danger. Come back here to save. I paid you for your work, so I'm not gonna thank you. See you <laughs> I'm I kind of like him. He's kind of a dick. <laughs> Kind of in like a pragmatic way, not just for the sake of being a jerk. I think those are actual 3D like models someone made. I kind of dig that. All right, let's grab some coins or gems or whatever. I will say we've been listening to like the same song in the background for three levels now. It's not. 
super interesting to listen to. And, and maybe it's just this area, but I don't think the music thus far has been too outstanding, aside from the theme song, which was way better than it had any right to be. I think I have to hit that statue. There we go. Okay. I do appreciate how straightforward the challenges this game presents are. Granted, we are still sort of in the tutorial phase, but... better than having to sit here and try and figure out what the game wants you to do. You know, I I would prefer something be straightforward than something that I can't figure out because it's just being obtuse. Especially in a game that's not in my native language. And there doesn't seem to be that much text in this game, which is nice. So everything's pretty easy to infer, and I, I just appreciate that in general. That's I think the sign of a good stage design is if a player can just figure out what to do intuitively just by playing it. But that's me preaching my design mentalities. I can't get that. Looks like we're gonna have to- oh crap! Okay, camera. We need to get up there. I'm losing all my health. Magical platform. Ascend. Okay, can't destroy that from there. Looks like we might have to go up there, maybe. Hmm. Can almost make that shot. Hmm. Alright, well let's keep going. This game's quite cool. I know this is one of my more wanted uh, imports for the system. And and certainly, part of it's because it's one of the few ones that's really notable that hasn't gotten absurdly pricey. Yeah, you know, I remember when I started collecting hardcore for the Saturn. And... Oh, there's a double dash. Or a double tap dash. Although it's not a consistent thing. He stops after a little while. That's interesting. But, like, I, I remember when I started collecting for the Saturn for my show, you know, I bought an action replay device to play imports just because it was cheaper. And when I bought the action replay device, I, I went out and I bought a couple Saturn games. And the first Saturn game I bought, the difference between that and the English version paid for basically itself and and uh, the action replay device to play it like six times over <laughs> combined. It, it was quite comical to see how cheap Saturn imports were for the... Saturn imports were for the Saturn. Thank you, Brain. <laughs> Japanese imports for the Saturn were. We gotta jump down there, but we gotta find a good spot. I wanna find a spot where they're not s Whoa. super... Whoa. Ah, crap. Oh no. <laughs> You're not as good as they say. <laughs> oh no, but I saved. That's the important thing. As long as I can continue. Oh no. <laughs> oh well, let's do it again. That's fine. I'm thinking this is difficulty selection, so we'll see. But Yeah, I forgot at the start like my my uh, Saturn save date is actually full right now. So unfortunately, saving means nothing. Which is a bit crap, but let's see if this got any harder. I will say, I don't like that it boots you to the main screen if you die. That's, that's a bit unforgiving, and if this game gets significantly harder as time goes on, that's not good. Like, at, at the very least, I figured there would be a a continue on the stage that you died sort of system in place. If not having outright checkpoints, but I don't see anything in the game that indicates that they would be checkpoints, other than just, you know, the arbitrary starting point of a stage. 
But booting you straight to the... No, that does increase your life total. So you want to collect those. Okay. I don't remember there being a map there before. Hmm. Still. You know, I, I think they would have at least let you continue from the start of whatever stage you died on. The fact that they don't, or at the very least they don't give you extra lives is a bit unforgiving. Still, I'm, I'm not going to say this is a bad game. I'm, I'm having quite a lot of fun with it. I think I'm definitely reaffirmed in my belief that this is an import I really should prioritize getting my hands on sometime soon. Still, the fact that we have no continue options means we've got to be extra super careful not to take damage, I guess. Which means we're probably going to have to take this the slow way. Doesn't seem like it's any harder, but granted we are still in like the first stage of the tutorial, so you know. Could very well be that those were just individual like saved states for the game itself. I think we gotta rely a lot more on that boomerang given our lack of ability to save right now. Just for safety. Alright. Also, I think those orbs have a uh, stock sound effect that was used in Doom. I think that was like the pickup for keys sound. There we go. Although, because we don't exactly have any means of saving, I guess we don't actually have to collect those things. Because, <laughs> you know, the saves are going to do absolutely nothing for us. So we'll just keep an eye out for the orbs and anything that looks like a healing item. Which I think are those, like, battery things. Alright. Yeah, I do like that boomerang. That is a very effective weapon. Grab that. Onwards! And that's just a shortcut. Gotta remember that. Well, there's the key we need. Nothing over here. Although that drops, interesting. Oh no. I just wanted things to heal me and give me extra health. Eh. Aiming's a little bit awkward in this game, I will say. Like, it, it's definitely reliance on the cardinal eight directions of the joystick, or, or the, the pad. And I sincerely doubt something like the 3D controller would help this game out any. I could be wrong about that, though. Ooh, batteries. And I think those are just health, but... This feels almost gauntlet -y. Like, getting bottlenecked a bunch of enemies together that are trying to rush you. Grab that. I thought I saw, like, a little secret passage there, but that was just a perspective trick. Alright. So there's the key we need. Let me grab key. Eh, there we go. 
power key. It's the Hudson equivalent of a power stone. I watched the Power Stone anime recently. I was weirdly nostalgic for it, and wow, it is crap. I still never actually played proper Power Stone. I've, I've really wanted to. I've played some knockoff Power Stone games before. Like, um... Good old uh, Rakugaki Showtime. That's a really fun game. And I don't think anyone's ever heard of it. It's super rare, too. But if you got a Japanese PSN account, you can download it for like five bucks. Which is absolutely worth it. I just like that Sony's made it harder to download stuff off PS3 now. Like, if you want to buy stuff on it, you have to like buy it through your PS4. And it's like, oh, that's. And you can't use your credit card. You have to use like point cards now. It's like, really? We're, we're going back to there. I, I get why you're doing it. You're doing it just so that making purchases for your system is annoying. So that no one will actually do it and you can proper shelve it. Because you've been trying to do that for the past year now, but... Quit it. <laughs> There's still quite a few games on PSN I want to buy. And you're talking to a guy who's got an account in every region. So, there's a few things on everything I want to buy, and I'm not sure my credit card even works in other regions. Not sure how that works, actually. Because I, I first started buying stuff in other regions before I even had a credit card. I had to use point cards. But it's just annoying to see. Also that there's no support for PS3 on the PS5, despite the fact there's a folder for PS3 games on the stupid thing. Although I think that's just for PS Now, and PS Now is just crap. I got a month of it for a dollar earlier this year, and I played it, and I was just so thoroughly disappointed in it. It's like, that's just not a good si bleh. Not a good service. I was gonna say system. I'm trying to remember what the word was that I was looking for. Talking is hard. Especially when you're not very good at it. And yet you counterintuitively try and make it your job. There we go. I do like that boomerang. That's a fun weapon. Okay, so this is where we died last time. We got more health than then. What? <laughs> Okay, so we just had to get to an arbitrary point before the game would let us take this stuff rather easily. Okay. Although the camera's not doing us any favors right now. I'm just gonna go up here. It's fine. It's fine. Go, 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 go. No! Haha! <laughs> I beat your goddamn trap, ghosts. Ooh, I want that. Okay. Just gotta be careful not to get skewered. There we go. Failed horribly at that, but... Hey, there's the key. Nice. Yeah, we could go that way. But... I remember there being an orb over there. And I need the orbs. We're playing by crackdown rules. You need to grab all the orbs. The orbs are the actual game. Okay, we got a blue book. Oh, hey, it's got a... That's kind of cool. It, it actually counts your gem total. Doesn't really say what that book is for, though. Maybe that's for plot. To unlock an extra level or something. Either way, we got the key we need. Let's not get knifed. I'm kind of thinking about trying to do Croc next time, maybe. I've never played Croc. I've always wanted to. Although I've heard it's pretty rough. I've heard the sequel's a lot better. Although I've also heard that Croc started out life as a Yoshi game that got denied by Nintendo. 
Which sounds like a thing they'd bloody well do, because Nintendo's done some really questionable shit in their tenure. Okay, we really don't have any health, so we gotta be really careful about this. Okay. I know you want to run because I'm double tapping dash, but I'm really just trying to nudge. Oh god. <laughs> Damn. Alas, we're just not that good. The problem with that, and the reason why I went to melee there, was entirely just because, like, there there was no boomerang angle for that. Like, just because the game, and, and I think this is probably one of two problems this game has. Problem one is the fact that it's got you know, the standard isometric territory problems of just, you know, isometrics make it hard to judge distance for anything. But the other thing is that it's... It, it really needs more points of movement detection, basically. And the fact that it's stuck using eight directions for aiming a ranged weapon, which is your most effective way to fight things, is not great when enemies can seem to come at, like, variants of those directions. Like, enemies have more movement than you have abilities to deflect them, essentially. That said, I kind of like this game a lot. <laughs> I, I really got to find a copy of this. This was fun. But uh, I apologize for this being a short one. Alas, not having save data kind of killed it. And I got to get back to my Game of the Year videos anyway. Um, I'm, I'm working on the first one, and it's no joke about an hour long. <laughs> so I've got a lot of work ahead of me yet. But uh, I apologize for this being short. We should be able to do Opena in a couple days and then Live Alive. Uh, might do an N64 multi-cart video in the next couple of days. Uh, I've got my new lineup of Let's Plays for streams ready. So starting next year, once we finish what we've got, we'll cycle through them. So we've already got one coming up. I'm not sure which one of those three is going to replace Gotcha Force just yet. But uh, we'll see. Um... But yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, follow the stream and know we go live, because we try and stream as often as possible, usually two or three times a week, maybe more. Uh, you might also want to check out and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see everything else I do, which is a lot of stuff. Just put up a review for uh, Kido Sokyo Dion, the Japanese version of Imperium, which is fundamentally fairly different from the English version. It's, it's kind of interesting. Not a great game, but, you know, kind of interesting in a sort of diet musha sort of way. And if you really want to make my day, check out the show's PayPal or Patreon. Support the show any way you can so that I can continue to do what I do to the best of my ability, which in this case is check out some cool wombat graphic novel knockoff Batman isometric platforming goodness. I like this game. I'm, I'm going to have to get a copy of this, I think. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Peace out, Internet.